do ye eat? Listen to the words of Joshua. Now, therefore, Joshua said, Fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye the Lord. Yes. Verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, then choose you this day whom ye will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me, well, well, yeah. and not just for me, but as for me and my house, yeah. we will serve the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. The word of God for all people. Amen. Blessed be the name of our I believe we've had our, we've made up our minds to serve God. Oh, y'all got that quiet now. And I believe we made up our minds to serve God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Let us pray the prayer of opening, the opening prayer. Our Father and our God. Yeah. We thank you for one more time that you have allowed us to come into your sanctuary with thanksgiving and to come into your house of prayer with words of Thank you in words of hallelujah. God, you have been good to us. And so we have made up our minds to come out to your house of prayer to worship you one more time. And we ask that we would not worship you in and of our own selves. But God, we ask you that the spirit of Christ that lives in us yeah, yeah, yeah. would stand up in us and worship you through us. Because God, you say they that worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. And so God, have thy own way in the sanctuary. Be magnified, be glorified, be elevated above because you deserve it. Yeah. This is our prayer in the name of your son, Jesus, in whom we believe is the true God, the true God. Christ, the Messiah, the soon coming King. Yeah. And we all have one voice to say, Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And amen. Amen. As we continue in the spirit of worship, we're going to ask if you would sing the congregational hymn, Time is Beaming, with swift transition. Not of earth unmoved can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Hymn 248 in the New National Baptist hymn book also found the insert of our words. Time is filled with swift transition. <laughs>
Approach you, O oh Holy God, by the yeah. love of Christ. 
God's son. We pray, God, that you would look upon this little flock here and be called the tabernacle called the Republican Baptist Church. Yeah. This part of the Lord been daughters, well, in all the church united. Yeah. And every crevice of this world, we your name is lifted up, God. We thank you. Thank you. And pray for your presence to abide with us even right now. Yeah. That you would take control of this service, God. That everything is said and done by serve your purpose. Yeah. That your name and your name alone might be glorified and magnified. Yeah. That you alone, Lord, might reign for you said in your word in Isaiah the chapter that it was your train that filled the temple. Yeah. Your glory that filled the temple. Yeah. We're praying for your glory to fill this place even right now. We pray, Father God, that you would bless her with a fresh anointing yeah, yeah. and an option to preach and teach your unadulterated word. Yeah. That you might use her as you see fit, God, yeah, yeah. to give glory to your name, to use her, God, to enlighten us, to equip us, God, and to confirm in us your word. Yeah. We pray, Father God, that when we have concluded this service here, this day, God, yeah. that we might know that we have been in your presence. Yeah. And Lord, we might be able to say of the truth. Yeah. Then I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Let now your will be done, we pray. Forgive us, we pray, for those things that we have said, done, and have thought about that was outside of your will, revealing us the right spirit. Yeah, yeah. And now, Lord, we pray for you to take control now. Yeah. And that your will be done in us, yeah. in the earth as it is in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And let the church say amen. 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 And thank you, Jesus. When the battle is over
forward to that interview. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said it's so plush mm -hmm. well, that the streets are made of pure gold. Yeah. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's giving time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's giving time. Amen. Praise God. Now this, we're going to take two offerings today. This is our first offering. This is our regular tithes and offering uh, uh, time. Tithes and offering time. Tithes and offering time. After the preacher has preached, we'll take the second offering before the preacher. Is that right, Jesse? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah, we ask you to offer, offer in your hand. Those who have committed to the discipline of tithing, we ask you to do so. Those who have been to discipline of uh, giving a general offering, we ask you to do so. Listen, don't forget about the uh, Ministry of Comfort. Um, we're still taking donations for the third quarter. Amen. We've met our goal for the second quarter. Amen. Um, we'll Amen. Quarter. It's early for the third. It's early for the third. We'll take it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We ask for the quarter side to come first, and then the comparisons, and then Sister Linda's side. We are climbing yeah. a Mount Olive Baptist Church in Rankin. From Mount Olive, she moved on to Mount 
armor. Amen. Amen. She is a lettered woman, a lettered woman of God. She holds an associate's degree from the Center of Urban Biblical Ministry. She holds a bachelor's degree from Geneva College in Community Ministry. Amen. And she is a woman who is on fire for the Lord. Yeah. She brought with her her daughter. Stand up, baby. Amen. As well, pray for her daughter. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. She has a son who is married. His name is Jonas. He lives out in Mechanicsburg, PA. Amen. He lives out in Mechanicsburg. Sister, where are you be interested in this? His wife works for Messiah College. Amen. 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 His wife works for Messiah College. Amen. Uh, she is the hus she has a husband, uh, John Cloud, and she's just a wonderful person. To she has such a sweet, sweet spirit about her. Amen. Sweet spirit. And she speaks softly, but she carries a big stick. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So after the choir has rendered us uh, a B selection, we're going to call on uh, the Reverend Kathy McLeod to bring us the word of God Amen. for everyone. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's raise your right hands. Reverend McLeod. Reverend McLeod. Reverend McLeod. Preach. 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 Amen. 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 Come on, Barbara. Amen.
traveled across from the east part to the north side. And God is good. He's good. Oh, taste and see that the Lord, he is good. And he's good all the time. I just saw an honor. It's an honor and a privilege to be here today. And to the officers and members of this great church, I bring you greetings from Mount Carmel Baptist Church in North Russell, yeah, Pennsylvania. Yeah. To the angel of this vineyard yeah. and the person of Reverend Dr. William yeah. Zachary Jr., yeah. it is an honor and a privilege that he would even see fit to even ask me to be here today. Yeah. But I count it all joy, Amen. and I do not take it lightly. Amen. To the co-laborers that share the pulpit with me and the persons of Reverend Tabita Hill and Reverend Payne, it is good to um, co-labor with you this morning during this worship experience. Amen. God bless you. I see Mr. Porter sitting over there. Yeah. And uh, I remember being in second school with Corrine and, and all of those uh, members many years ago. Yeah. Uh, my son and my daughter, and they used to sit right right here in front of the choir stand so we could keep an eye on them and, and give them that mean look if they started to act up. And now my son is uh, a youth pastor. In a Korean church, get that job. And so God can take you across international boundaries according to his perfect will. And so I thank you for your prayers this morning. And I won't be long before you. If you have your Bibles, please turn to John 16. John 16. And um, as, you, as you find the passage of scripture, it is John 16, verse 33. I'm just going to lift up one verse, verse 33. John 16, verse 33. Amen? Amen. 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 And the word of God says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. Yeah. In the world. In the world. Ye shall have tribulation. Yeah. But be of good cheer. Yeah. I have overcome the world. Amen. Let us go to the throne of mercy together. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your thank you. For it is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Yeah. We thank you, Lord God, that we have something to hold on to, O oh God. Yeah. That will bring us through these troubling times. Thank you. We stand on your promise this morning. And we yeah. pray, Holy Spirit, that you would have your way yeah. in this place. Yes, that you and you alone would be glorified. Yeah. So, Lord God, hide me behind thy cross. Yes, Lord. That you and you alone would be heard. Yeah. Lord God, have your way in me and through me. Yeah. And I will be so careful to give your name the honor and the glory and praise. For you are worthy yeah. to be praised in yeah. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And this particular passage of scripture will form the subject of the text this morning. He will take you there. Yeah. He, yeah. Will yeah. he will take you there. Amen. What does it mean to take someone there? Yeah. If you take someone somewhere, you got to go there with them. Yeah, yeah. Often paying for them or being responsible for them. Like a mother or father grabbing a small child's hand, leading them, mm -hmm. showing them, helping them to get from one place to another. Yeah, yeah. That child is unaware of the many places he can go, but through wisdom, determination, need, a parent can take them and show them as they stand beside them. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, in this particular passage of scripture, was taking his disciples there. Amen. It had come to the point in time where Jesus was about to take his journey yeah. to Calvary, but he wanted to take the disciples there. Yeah. And yeah. so that they would not be ignorant to the things that were about to take place. Yeah. All right. You see, uh, Jesus is telling his disciples what, what about they will face when he goes back to the Father. Yeah, uh, yeah. He had been with them three years in ministry and had shown them the power of healing 
healing, the power of deliverance, yeah. the power of provision, yeah. and surely the power of love. Yeah, yeah. Where are the people of God taking people who are lost today? Well, I'm talking about the people in despair. Yeah. Can't seem to find their way. Uh -huh. Overwhelmed by the things they are going through in this world. Yeah. Where are we taking them? Yeah. Are we going to places that they can follow us? Uh -huh. Is our love genuine that they can see hope on the other side of their pain? Well, as I read the passage of scripture, I thought about the phrase take you there. Yeah, yeah. But as I researched the meaning in the Urban Dictionary and other directions written by songwriters, I was discouraged and wanted to change the title due to the negative definitions that I was finding about all right, all right. taking people there. Yeah, Lord have mercy. That world point of view. Yeah, with yeah. hurt and deception, violence, lying and empty promises. Yeah, yeah. When we look around, people are, are all over the place right now. Grasping and listening yeah. to information that will cause confusion and the lack of seeing the truth. How many know that I'm yeah. talking the truth this yeah. morning? Yeah. People are being deceived on, and have no desire to find the truth Come that on, will free. set them free of deception. Come on, free. The younger generation understands the deception of a man. Let me use an example. Mm -hmm. Inviting a woman to joyful bliss mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with no desire to a commitment of a loving life mm -hmm. together. And that's deception. Yeah. We are taking no different timelines in our lives. We are taken to different timelines in our life where the past ignites our memory of better times. How many look back over the years and look at yesterday and say, yeah. what it used to be like? Yeah. What it used to be like to be a child? Yeah. What it used to be like to live in a, ne a loving neighborhood? What it was used to be yeah. like? To not only have your parents, but every parent in the neighborhood was watching over you. Taken to a place sometimes. We're taken to places of past hurts that we can't seem to overcome. Taken to places of hope and happiness through daydreams and eternal de desires. Just to find that we can't dream ourselves through. We can't do that. We can't purchase a place of permanent happiness. Only Jesus can promise a place of hope and peace and fellowship with him yeah. and the Father. Amen. He's the only one yeah. who can make a promise and stick to his word. Yeah. He will not deceive us with pretty words and fairy tales, right. for the world has already caught us off guard. <laughs> Dangled desires of falsehoods. Is there anybody in here today who is tired of the lies? Yeah. Tired of the hurt. Yeah. Tired of the world views and yeah. world government and world translation of what life is all about. Yeah. I just about to remind you that only through faith can we see the, the, the possible, the yeah. possibilities. The real thing. Yeah. And I'm glad that Jesus showed us as he lays it out for his disciples in John 16, 20. And most assuredly, I say to you that you will weep and lament, yeah. but the world will rejoice. Yeah. And you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will be turned into joy. Yeah. Oh, I stopped by to encourage you today. You have sorrow now. But when you see me again, you will have joy, the joy, the joy the world can't take away. You will not be able to ask me anything, but if you ask my Father in my name, he will give it to you. I shall show you plainly of the Father. And this is Jesus talking to the disciples. And some things they just couldn't understand while he was talking. These things I have spoken to you that in me, you might have peace. Mm -hmm. I am leaving you with a gift. That's how my spiritual imagination took me to this place as Jesus was talking mm -hmm. to his disciples. 
because they weren't aware about the hint that Jesus was about to leave them. Uh, he said, I'm leaving you with a gift. He didn't say that, but I'm saying it. And he said, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give you is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or be afraid, found in John 14, 27. It takes faith to recognize the gift that was about to be shared with those around Jesus. Shared with his disciples that, that Jesus said, in me, you might have peace. Yeah. But let me tell you, the world tells us that they'll take that passage of scripture and say, well, the world may tell you maybe, maybe you might have peace. Or there's a possibility mm -hmm. you could. But the definition for might is strength. Yeah. The definition for might is power, yeah. capacity, mm -hmm. and powerfulness. Yeah, right. That tells us that in Jesus, mm -hmm. in him, he will give you the power right. and the strength to, put, to make you get through these troubling times. Yeah. He said, I give it to you. The world and its cunningness, darkness, evil, and deceptive wills cannot give it to you. And will not be able to take it away what Jesus is about to give. Mm -hmm. In the world, ye shall have tribulations. How many know that we are having tribulations? Amen. We define tribulations sometimes, and we may get it twisted. Yeah. That we feel that a tribulation is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Car won't start. Lights got cut off. Yeah. Lost family members. Yeah. Hit with a life-threatening illness. But there is a tribulation that all of us endure, and that is that all have sinned yeah. and come short of the glory of God. Yeah, yeah. The outcome of a sin-sick soul, disobedience, we all are guilty yeah. of the nature that came upon us when Adam sinned in the garden, refusing the direction and gift from a loving God. Hiding when his voice was heard. Trying to cover up what God can see. And passing it down from generation to generation, even to you and I. Sickness entered into the world. Murder, adultery, greed, jealousy, yeah. malice, idolatry. Lord have mercy. And we are witnessing in our everyday lives that because of sin, yeah. we are surrounded with tribulation. Mm -hmm. Because of sin, we see death all around us. Yeah. Robbery and destruction and living in some heartbreaking times. Yeah, yeah. And we will be judged because of it. Yeah. And the penalty is death. Yeah. We can't fly to the moon to escape it, nor dive to the deepest part of the sea to get away from it. Yeah. A writer named Roy T. Bennett Penn, we are caught in it. Yeah. Even now as believers. But there was a time when we were a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. We are no longer comfortable with the world. Yeah. Aren't you glad about it today? Yeah. yeah. That we once were a part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now we are uncomfortable yeah. with the world. Yeah. We are no longer comfortable in the world. Change began at the end of our comfort zone. Yeah. At yeah. the end of our comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. When we were no longer comfortable in the world. Yeah. And doing worldly things when we got to the end of the point in our life that we said no more. Yeah. That was when we made Jesus our choice. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he's the only one, only one that can take us there. Yeah. He's the only one that can take us only to the one. place that he has called us to become. He's yeah. the only one, only one who can set our 
Yeah, yeah. For while we were still helpless, uh -huh. at the right time, yeah. Christ died for the ungodly. Yeah, yeah. But God demonstrated his own love toward us. Yeah. And that while we were yet sinners, yes, Christ died. Hallelujah. That's a shouting amen moment. Much more than having now been justified yeah. by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God through him. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about you, but that's something to shout hallelujah yeah. Yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. In Romans 5.35 it says, and not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations. Yeah. Knowing that tribulations bring about perseverance. Yeah. And perseverance, proven character. And proven character, hope. Yeah. And hope does not disappoint. How many yeah. know that today? Yeah. Because yeah. the love of God has been poured out within our hearts yeah. through yeah. the Holy Spirit who yeah. was given to us. Tribulation should not cause us well, to sit down, well, but to get up yeah. with the power that has been given to us by the aid of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got to say that again. Tribulation should not cause us yeah. to sit down. Yeah. But get up with the power yeah. that has been given to us by the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Amen. For whosoever is born of God well, overcomes the world. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Uh -huh. Even our faith. Yeah. Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Yeah, yeah. And so today, I stop by to remind you that you are a overcomer. Yeah, yeah. You are an overcomer. Even with things that are going on outside the store, even with the political system like it is right now, even the hate that is spewed about toward our direction. You are an overcomer. Yeah, yeah. We are the ones who people are looking for that can help them transform from no hope well, to an overcomer. All right. We are the ones yeah. who have been called out and transformed to transform others yeah. to become overcomers. We need to be reminded that the day that we gave Jesus our heart is the day we became an overcomer. Yeah, yeah. I know that when they marched for justice, they sung the song, We Shall Overcome yeah. Someday. Yeah, yeah. Well, some may have taken it that someday, yes, we will be overcome. Yeah. That one day, it might happen. Yeah, yeah. But Jesus tells us to be of good cheer, yeah. not someday, yeah. but today. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. he has overcome yeah. the world. Yeah. We don't got to wait, and we don't have to say maybe one yeah. yeah. day will overcome. Yeah. Because of Christ, we are overcome. Yeah. The victory yeah. has already been done. Come on. Yeah, yeah. And therefore, I urge you, brothers, on account of God's mercy, huh? to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, yeah. holy and pleasing to God, which is your spiritual yeah, service yeah, yeah. of worship. Do not be conformed to this world, yeah. but be transformed by the renewing. That means reintroducing. That means restarting. That means beginning again over and over and over again. Renewing your mind. Yeah, yeah. Then you will be able to test, to check out, to assess, yeah. and approve what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Yeah, yeah. We need to be reminded today that this world can suck you in. Yeah, yeah. If you don't hold on to God, yeah, 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 yeah. We have young people today that are so depressed, Come on, and that's I'm right. talking about little kids. That's right, that's right. That shouldn't even know what the word depression means. Yeah, yeah. That they're seeing a world fall apart right before them. Yeah. Wars in Ukraine, and they're wondering, are they going to be? I heard my granddaughter. 12 years old say, are we going to be 
Yeah. 
fit person to be yeah, in fellowship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he is not a person. He is not tied to the rules of social media. Yeah. He's not tied to the rules of social standing. He's not tied to the rule of, you can only call me between the hours of 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. on Monday through Friday and maybe on Saturdays from 10 a.m. Well, to 5 p.m. and Sunday well, when you can call me. Well, He's not tied to that. Yeah. You can pick up the phone if you want, but you don't need one. Yeah. You just call out to him. Yeah. Call yeah. out to him. Speak to him. Yeah. Because he is more than just a little bit. He yeah. is all that. Yeah. All that. All that and more. So if you have not claimed him as yes. your own, yeah. come forward. Mm -hmm. Cry out. Call out. Yeah. And just receive him as your Lord and Savior. Because yeah. it says in the Bible, only because it is written by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. if you say it yeah. and you declare it. Yeah. That you will be saved. Yeah. Not yeah. you might be saved, but you will definitely be saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no side word. Yeah. There is yeah. no side step, and there is no side door. There's only one way, and that is yeah. Jesus Christ. One way, one way, one way. You can only reach the Father through the Son. Yeah. And it's the Holy Spirit, like your sister or Reverend McLeod said, by the prick of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. They work in unison to save us all. Yeah. And for those that are already saved, that do not have a church home, call out to us. Yeah. If you are saved and you need a prayer, call out to us. Because yeah. We know that the walk is not an easy walk. Yeah. Because as we choose God, yeah. There is an adversary that's trying to pull us away. Yeah. Try to keep us from walk from walking the good walk. Yeah. Talking the good walk. Yeah. The talk. And being the children God would have us. Yeah. Be. So if you need prayer, reach out. Yeah. Just reach out. Yeah. Because we all understand. We all know. We all yeah. love God. Yeah. And the love of God allows us to love Yeah. Him, to walk with Him. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thank you. Lord. You may now be seated. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We want to continue the spirit of worship. We want to keep that call open. The doors yeah. of the church are still open. Yeah. Come by baptism as a candidate for baptism. You've never been baptized. You want to be baptized. Come by Christian experience. Maybe you've been baptized, but uh, you want to rededicate your life and give your life to Christ. You want to join Tabernacle. Come by Christian experience. Maybe you have a letter. Come by a letter. You have a letter from your other church. Stand here in good standing. You want to join Tabernacle. If you want to join Tabernacle, just come forward. Amen. 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 Just raise your hand. Amen. As the deacon prepares for our offering, does the offering table. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This should preach.
Debbie Burst, bless God. Hold on, hold on, now here's the time. Hold on, here's the time. Move my prayer with the Father. Lord, we ask that you bless this offering, Father. Yeah. Um, we cannot pay um, Reverend McCall, but Lord, uh, let this offering be uh, made up 10, 20, 100 fold. Father. Yeah. Uh, and it's all about you, Lord. The yeah. The uplift of your kingdom. Yeah. These blessings we ask of you in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. 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 first, if you could not go down for money now. Okay. Do that one, please. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to ask all the missionaries to please come forward, as well as the president of the missionary board. Today is our annual missionary day, 2022. Uh, we ask the missionary to come on board. Come on down, sister. We 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 recruit you. Amen. 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 Where's your president? Oh, there she is. There she is. Amen. Don't they look lovely in their white? Amen. Amen. We're going to call on our the president of our missionary board, uh, one of our, those dear members of whom we just love so much. Oh, we love her. Yeah. We love her so much. First of God, first and of all, I want to thank God. Yeah. yeah. You know, with them we'd be nothing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, I just want to thank the missionaries. You know. Thank you. And we, we have a task to do. Yeah. And um we're gonna do it in the best of our ability to please God. Amen. So um I want to thank Reverend. Yeah, wow. Amen. For um, bringing the word today. Amen. Yes. Amen. And um, we just need to just listen and me, not only just we, me first. Yeah, yeah. I need to do better than what I'm doing. Yeah. And yeah. we just need to just please God in every way we can. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And we just need to just start at home first. Amen. And just do the best that we can do. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, and I, Thank our pastor. We love him. Amen. And, uh, we thank God for him. Yes. Yeah. Um, thank God. Do what we can do as a church. The yeah. whole church. Amen. We're all missionaries. Mm -hmm. And we it's, it's, it has to be a change. It's going yeah. to be a change. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. God knows all about it. Yes, yeah. it does. And um, I just thank you. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. We, got, we got the picture. Can we tra transform that into a picture? Okay, let me come down with y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got a few. Yeah. I got a few. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Today was a successful missionary day 2022. Amen. Amen. A successful missionary day 2022. Uh, Sister Weir, I haven't forgot about what we're talking about in terms of evangelism. I've just been really busy. I'm trying to get a text message out this week from Charles. Amen. Uh, can I see Sister Lee Retta Payne and Reverend J. Michael Payne after service, after Pat Burton Cloud has left the building? Amen. After Burton Cloud has left the building. Amen. Amen.
Um, we're going to call on Reverend McLeod uh, to give her final re closing remarks and benediction. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Let us stand. Praise God. Amen. 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 Amen.